I'm very particular about the first image that appears on the screen for one of my films. I expect them to say something about the entire story. In this case, I love the idea of beginning with a very stark image of a dead woman. She then becomes a metaphor of life coming from that which is dead. Not just for her, but more importantly for our protagonists, Ephraim Hanks and Thomas Dobson. In making any film, but especially a low-budget film, you have a built-in enemy, and that enemy is time. We have to do so much work every day in order to make the budget work. In the case of this scene, we had about five hours to do the entire scene. This scene contains about 18 setups or shots, how many times you move the camera. And that's a lot to do in that period of time and especially to do them well, which is extremely important since this is the beginning of the film. The, the great Western director, John Ford, said, if you can make a movie with has a good beginning, a couple of good scenes in the middle, and then a good ending, you got a good film on your hands. So I feel very uh, strongly about making sure the beginning of the film is interesting. We did all of the interiors first to give us time for the sun to get lower so that when we came outside and did the exteriors, it would have a warmer, more interesting look. I wanted to create some sense of mystery early on about this white-haired, bearded man. He only says one thing, but at the same time, it was important to set up a few things for the entire film, that this man has a rare gift, the gift of healing, that he washes before he blesses that he's experienced and he knows what to do. And also setting up Sister Johnson because she will make another appearance at the end of the film in the epilogue. I'm T.C. Christensen, the writer and director of Ephraim's Rescue.